The picturesque island of Martinique is one of four islands of the French West Indies. The French influence can be traced back as far as 1635, when the French first settled the area. With the untamed waters of the Atlantic Ocean to the east and the tropical Caribbean Sea to the west, Martinique is constantly refreshed and invigorated across its scant 425 square miles. In addition to being celebrated for its wonderful tropical surroundings, wildlife and delicious cuisine, the island of Martinique is probably most recognized for its production of rum, rum with an H, that's R-H-U-M. One of the most renowned producers on the island is De Paz, whose history can be traced back to 1651, when the estate was first established by the premier governor, Jacques Duparquet. The De Paz estate is located in the northwest region of Martinique, in the charming coastline city of Saint-Pierre, at the foot of the famous Mont Pele, the highest mountain on the island at over 4,000 feet. Land at the foothills of Mont Pele was considered by Father Jean-Baptiste Labat, a Dominican priest and leading figure in the development of rum in Martinique, to be the most beautiful on the island. The area is visually breathtaking and includes a past that is filled with dramatic events. In 1902, a violent eruption of Mont Pele destroyed almost everything in its path, including the De Paz estate. Almost 30,000 residents of Saint-Pierre, then the capital of Martinique, perished. When Mont Pele erupted again in 1929, the fury of the volcano was directed upwards, sparing most property and many lives. While the devastation of the De Paz estate was significant, the volcano's eruptions helped create the tranquil, rich, fertile environment in which the precious De Paz blue cane now thrives. The De Paz family is well respected and beloved by the people of Martinique and holds a significant place in both its historical and its agricultural development. Through the years, the De Paz family and estate experienced many changes, most being linked to the tragic eruption of 1902. Sadly, Mont Pele's violent eruption claimed the entire De Paz family, except for Victor De Paz, who was fortunately off studying at St. Jean School in Bordeaux at that time. His ultimate return in 1917 was an emotional one, as the city of St. Pierre had been described by some who knew the family well as the cradle of his childhood and the tomb of his family. It was 15 years to the day marking the eruption of Mont Pele that Victor de Paz returned to the land of his family with the hopes of restoring the destroyed landscape back to the splendor of years past. Working tirelessly, he focused all his efforts in replanting the surrounding land, specifically rebuilding the agricultural distillery on the hundreds of acres he called home. All of his hard work paid off, and he successfully rebuilt the De Paz estate back to the brilliance it had historically known. The storied production of rum agricole, agricultural rum, represents only 3% of the world's rum. Rum brands using less expensive sugar derivatives in the production process, such as molasses, have few, if any, time constraints to deal with. Such brands represent the remaining 97% of the world's rum, which is classified as industrial rum. Rum agricole remains the most expensive production process, and the amazing rum that results is treasured by knowledgeable mixologists and connoisseurs around the world. The agricultural rum production process is initiated by the spring harvest of the cane and begins with pure sugar cane juice. Rum agricole is the only style of rum created at the Depaz estate. Since fermentation begins almost immediately upon the cutting of the cane, the distillation process for rum is very much dictated by the harvest. The sugar cane harvest, which enjoys many agricultural parallels to the grape harvest, runs from February to May. Harvested both by hand and machine in the early spring, the fresh blue cane sugar cane crop of De Paz is harvested only a stone's throw from the distillery, allowing for an immediate crushing of the cane for maximum yield and sugar complexity. The juice, called Vesu, is extracted from the cane and flows to the fermenting vats. All De Paz offerings are produced on the estate in limited quantities and use only the freshest cut blue cane, resulting in the production of exceptionally luxurious rum.
The exclusive use of estate-grown blue cane is a signature of DuPaz. Blue cane, considered to be the highest quality sugar cane, remains the costliest and most difficult cane to grow. Delivering the ideal balance of sugars for maximum flavor and character, blue cane is simply a perfect ingredient for the production of rum agricole. At sugar levels ranging from 20 to 25 percent, blue cane delivers the highest level of any cane found on Martinique, where the average is but 15 to 21 percent. Depaz blue cane yields a rum with a superb floral nose and a smooth, flavorful, and refined character. After the cane juice has been fully extracted, the dry fibers that remain, called bagasse, become the environmentally friendly fuel that heats the stills and powers the boilers that run the Depaz steam engine. This is the very same engine that once supplied water to the fountains at the Chateau de Versailles. Depaz has received the coveted AOC designation Appellation d'Origine Controlée, confirming its strict adherence to precise standards of excellence. This official seal of quality confirms you are enjoying a product of the highest order, derived from 100% cane juice aged in oak casks. Additionally, this special designation defines important quality standards for a range of issues, such as the sugar cane fields themselves, cane variety, juice extraction, production facilities, and the fermenting, distilling, storage, and aging processes. Nothing is or can be added to an AOC-designated rum agricole like the Paz, such as coloring or flavors. Le faire passer à l'intérieur and to further intensify the natural flavors the blue cane of De Paz imparts, only oak barrel aging is permitted. Following fermentation, column distillation in copper, similar to whiskey and cognac production, helps deliver a special character to De Paz rum before it is introduced to the oak barrels for aging. The aging process is sometimes described as the secret life of the rum. Depaz rum is aged in special small charred oak casks, which impart attractive barrel wood and mountain air aromas into the finished product. The result is a remarkable depth of flavor and aroma that offers the senses a smooth, flavorful, refined elegance. For hundreds of years, the respected Depaz name has been rewarding palates and making friends with its special award-winning offerings. Awards range from the more sentimental, such as those won by Depaz in Marseille in 1922, 27, and 31, following the restoration of the distillery and the estate, to the latest gold medal awarded to Depaz Blue Cane Rum Agricole in March of 2006 at the San Francisco World Spirits Competition. You will find Depaz Blue Cane Amber Rum featured in the hottest clubs, gourmet restaurants, and exclusive retail establishments. We recommend you try a Depaz Midnight Mojito, which brings together Depaz Blue Cane Amber Rum, pure Depaz cane syrup, fresh mint leaves, fresh lime wedges, and a splash of club soda. Another great option to experience is the smooth depth of character of Depaz in a Depaz Rum Teeny, which is most reminiscent of the classic classical island cocktail, the island tea punch. In any case, always take advantage of the creative genius of your favorite mixologist or bar chef to create fresh, new, inviting ways to enjoy Depaz. Remember our internet address, www.depazrum.com. That's D-E-P-A-Z-R-H-U-M. And visit us often for hot spot happenings, events, and new cocktail ideas from our favorite mixologists and bar chefs.